Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to use the new by call, that is the by column and the by row lambda helper functions to calculate grand total by column and row respectively. Let's get started. In the previous video, I talked about how to use the map and the scan functions. So let's see how to use this by column and the by row functions. So by definition, the by column applies a lambda function to each column and returns an array of results. Conversely, the by row applies a lambda function to each row and returns an array of the results. Now let's see the application of these functions in our sample data set. Now in here we have this report that is showing the year and the total sales for each of the payment method, which is from MasterCard to Visa card. Now in column F, we want to calculate the grand total by each of the rows and in row number 19 we want to calculate the grand total for each of the columns now let's do that so i'm going to come to cell f2 and deploy the by by row function open parenthesis now i need to give the array so i can actually give a single array or the entire array now let's give the entire data set okay now comma so for the function i'm going to deploy the lambda function so open parenthesis now i need to provide you know parameter so just let's call this by row okay comma now for the calculation i'm going to deploy the sum function because we are actually aggregating all this each of this value in the each rows and also in each of the columns if when we get to this by column so for the current one we need a sum open parenthesis now for the number one i need to just you know pass in this by row defined parameter so i'm just going to type in by row okay and close the sum close the lambda and finally i close the by row formula now when we press f9 to evaluate we can actually see the result that will be delivered each of the row and we have the semicolon which means to go down to each of the rows Control Z, Control Enter, Control Shift Down arrow key, Control Shift Four to apply currency. Let's get rid of the decimals. Now this is the grand total for each of the row. Now let's select this together. Now in the status bar we have fourteen five fifty one four five seven, and that is exactly what we achieve here. So this is how to use the by row function now let's replicate the same thing <clears throat> to calculate the by column equal sign by call open parenthesis now i need to give the entire array also so that the result will spill to all the neighboring you know cells across the right comma now for the function the lambda now i'm going to call this on by now you can actually define or use any name for your parameter so i'm going to call this on by call comma and for my calculation, I need a sum, open parenthesis. I'm going to pass this by call, select the by call, then close the sum and the lambda function, and finally close the by column formula, control, enter. Cool. So we have each of the grand total for each of the column. So let's select this together and see. Now in the status bar, we have 86,058,445, which is exactly what we achieve here. Let's verify the Visa card. Okay, that gave us 92,882,102, and that's exactly what we achieve here. So you can actually just do a total here, Alt, Equal Sign, Control, Enter. So this is essentially how we use the by column and the by row lambda apple functions i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give likes and comments another video is coming up on this by column and the by row functions thank you and bye for now cheers